So this is Skipton Canal Basin at night where Pennine Cruisers are located. It's a really nice scene with all the light shining on the water. And then this is the same view in the morning. Slight mist coming off. Nice peaceful scene before the day starts. So that's the basin at Skipton and the little spur that goes off. It's a nice walk up through there. And we're on the 24th of February and it's a beautiful day here in Skipton. In fact, if you get in the sun out of the uh, breeze, it's really warm considering the time of year. Really nice. Well, it's late February. It's the end of a Seeing long, long winter and the start of a new adventure. We're moored in Skipton where we've been for the winter months. It's quite a cold wind today, but it's time to move on. The plan is to get off of the Lees and Liverpool Canal, get through Wigan Flight of Locks. When we came up, there was a stretch there after Wigan that was full of weed, rubbish all sorts of things getting wrapped around the uh, propeller. So I'm hoping that the weed will have died off over the winter and we won't be such a problem going back. Um, and then over the course of the next two or three months, return the boat to its home base which is on the Kennet and Avon. We want to go via Liverpool and also the Langothlin Canal. So we've got a lot to pack in. Anyway, here's the start. Let's see what the day brings. So coming out of Skipton, there are rows of uh, traditional old stone-built cottages. I guess they were mill workers, residences, etc. Beautiful backdrop of hills. And then there's a modern apartment block there, all built out of wonderful stone in the style of the old wharfs. Big old chimney up behind. Oh, it's Mr and Mrs Swan coming up. Looks like they're busy building a new home ready for the new arrivals. I wonder what colour they're going to paint the nursery. Would it be blue or would it be blue? pink. Still got stunning scenery all surrounding. Well it looks like she's getting ready to go to work. Doing her makeup at the moment. So I guess this is a Skipton bypass, we're just about to go under. So the canal's following the contours of the land now. 
and it's sort of winding its way round the, the hills. And there's a swing bridge over there as the crow flies, I don't know, two, three hundred yards. But because we're going round the bends, it's almost double back in on itself to get to where we're going to be. There's a few logs there, surprise some boater hasn't had those. There we are, it just shows the bend in the canal. David moored up, ready to do the bridge for me. And then I'll stop and do the bridge for him. Lots of permanent moorings along here. Again, the canals built into the hillside. The road is running parallel to us at the moment on the left hand side, and it's uh, a good 15 20 foot below where we are. That's where we've just come from. Well, the scenic Leeds and Liverpool canal in and around the Skipton area. Fantastic, it's such a shame the canal degenerates into what is um, a floating rubbish tip basically around the Burnley and Blackburn areas. It spoils it. feel a bit of rain in the air. That's a nuisance. That's a beautiful hill up in front there with the, uh, the light shining on it, giving it all those different colours. Really attractive. And the canal is going to wind round now to the left. Going in the direction where that hill is. You can see the boats across there. So we're helping each other out with these swing bridges because their uh, landing platforms are on the other side to the mechanism. But the wind's playing a look now. It's quite windy here. It's actually quite cold as well. And, uh, David, who's up in front there, is going to do the bridge. You can see the wind's taking the boat out. He's having to fight against it to get it back into the side. over there. Now this boat coming up here on the left hand side looks like it might be listing over a bit perhaps it's taken on some water. Yeah, it looks, it looks a 
bit sorry for itself. So this is the first lock we come to out of Skipton at Gargrave on the run in to Gargrave. Still beautiful scenery. The main problem today is the wind whipping across there after the last swing bridge. It pinned me against the side. You couldn't make it up really. With all my strength and using the engine, I still couldn't get it off the, uh, the bank because of the wind blowing it so much. Incredible. Big heavy steel boat and the wind treats it like it's a matchstick. The power of nature. Anyway. There we are. Have a look at this lock, see what the score is. Home bridge lock. Let's get on and do it. Quite a deep lock this, you can see at the other end there the sill is quite deep. That's the danger in these locks you to get yourself hung up on those sills. Well, there's a few waterfowl there, sunning themselves on this sunny February afternoon. My little bridge. I was too busy filming the bridge, I went straight to the bank. Coming into Gargrave, there's a static caravan park there, right by the canal side. So this was to be the last lock of the day. Here at Gargrave, there's a tomorrow's. It's still 93 miles to Liverpool. 
having only travelled four and a half miles from Skipton during the course of this day. Slow progress really, not least of all because the wind was so strong it was playing absolute havoc with controlling the boat and getting it through the bridges and the locks. Only to learn that the next two locks in front of us are broken. One of them has just been discovered and they have still to assess how long and what is needed to fix it. And the other one at Greenbefield is out of commission until estimated 20th of March. The net result of that is we're not going anywhere. And regretfully, I've got no footage in the can so there won't be any fresh videos now until just after Easter. See you then. Thanks for watching.